Hey fellow workers, my name's Kim Searer. Welcome back to my channel. I tip out when I eat. I mean, I don't eat out anymore, or rather, not right now. I haven't since last March, but when I did eat out, I always tipped, even though I'm opposed to it. Yeah, that's right, I'm opposed to tipping, but I still do it. Here's the thing, the way I see it, tipping is just a way for business owners to exploit workers. In fact, two years ago, the government of Alberta created a panel of nine persons to review Alberta's minimum wage, including whether there should be a wage differential for hospitality workers who serve alcohol. Let's take a look at a statement that Restaurants Canada, an industry lobbying group, wrote leading up to the 2019 provincial election in Alberta. The elimination of the liquor server wage also had a notably negative impact on licensed business operators, as a liquor server wage allows restaurateurs to allocate more towards higher wages for non-gratuity, earning career-oriented kitchen staff. Then later in the document, Restaurants Canada recommends a liquor serving wage, recognizing the significant gratuities earned by servers. See, right there. They use tips to justify lower wages. And seriously, taking wages from workers so you can purposely give higher wages to a certain subset of workers is pretty messed up. Surfers still perform the labor. Paying them a lower wage because they won't still be serving when they're 50 is ridiculous. And it pits two groups of workers against each other. Plus, another way business owners benefit from tips is that they pay less in deductions. For example, if their surfers keep all their tips, then the business owner doesn't need to pay their 5.45 percent Canada pension plan contribution rate or the employment insurance contributions they normally pay. Besides, these workers get tips because people recognize their wages are low. If they made a decent wage to start with, they wouldn't need tipping. And that's the primary issue with tipping. Every time we pay it, we reinforce the idea that business owners can pay their workers less because they make so much in tips. But then again, if we stop tipping, then those workers receive less income. The only way we can abolish tipping is if first we give all workers workers a living wage. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at kimseaver.ca. You can also follow me on social media. Just search for Kim Seaver on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. If you appreciate the videos I post here on YouTube, the news stories and opinion pieces I write on my news site, or the content I share on my other social media accounts, please become a monthly supporter at kimseaver.ca slash support. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, please click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Solidarity.